Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Chin back with another video. I am tired, but I wanted I've been debating whether or not I should make this video for a couple of days now, but I am gonna make it regardless. Now I'm gonna throw a question out there and I want you guys to get back to me with your answer into this in the comments. And every single day I'm gonna make What your opinions are now my question is what does it gain a person to lose their entire soul just to gain the world what I mean by this is why is it so important for people to live their life just so others could be happy or just so others could be acceptable of it rather than you, the person, being yourself, being happy, being comfortable with who you are or the life you live. If somebody doesn't like you, there's nothing you could do to make them like you. You could shit gold on a stick and give it to them. They won't like you. You could go bring them the moon. They still won't like you. You could give them a million dollars. They'll take your money. But that don't mean they won't like you. Stop living your life to please other people. Start living the life that makes you comfortable, the life that makes you happy, the life that makes your immediate family happy, instead of pleasing the people around you. You could be kind to people and they'll accept your kindness. But they won't like you if they don't like you. Sometimes people have no reason not to like you. They just go with the energy. Right? And then you have the other set of people that you don't do nothing for them. When they call you, you don't answer. You pass them on the street and pretend you don't see them. And those people will ride with you to the very end. You could always call on them when you need them. They'll fight with you even when you're wrong. And then at the end of the fight, they'll tell you, look, I got your back. But you are wrong. These kind of people don't matter who you are or what you do, or how you dress, where you live. If they fuck with you, they fuck with you. Now, the other kind of people that don't fuck with you, you'll live in a big, nice house. You'll drive a fancy car. You'll have money. You could take them out to eat. You could buy them expensive gifts. Rest assured, They'll smile with you. They'll pretend they're with you. They'll take all the gifts, spend up all your money, eat up all your food, ride around in your nice car. But at the end of the day, do they still fuck with you? No. You're not their friends. They never liked you. They only pretended because of what they could gain. So we need to think about the people we have around us. We need to weigh them, the riders or the loafers. Which ones are you gonna choose? I'm choosing the riders. Oftentimes we try to please society so much that 
we get ourselves in situations that we really don't want to be in even though we know it's not good for us we still stay in those situations for example um people get into relationships because of what other people think you know what i mean they'll get into relationships even though they know the person has nothing to bring to the table has nothing to offer them but because society thinks that they look good together or because the person is cute they think it's okay and that's where we fall into problems because we're living to please society we're living to please what other people think oh they look so good together you guys make such a cute couple no y'all don't he ain't got nothing to offer you or she doesn't have nothing to offer you you know what I mean they can't back you up or hold you up when you're down they'll be the first to be okay see you I'm gone and you still stay with that person because other people think oh they make such a cute couple so when are we gonna realize that we're not gaining anything when we live or conduct ourselves in a way to please other people or society let me know what you think about this video in the comment don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you again in my next video